All right, today is August the 14th, 2016, and uh, we're watching the uh, Gulf of Mexico water vapor loop. We can see this upper level uh, low pressure system. This is spinning counterclockwise, and this is moving towards uh, Louisiana and Texas. This system that was parked over Louisiana for a couple of days has moved uh, west. It's uh, over here. We'll take a look at that. Uh, it's heading to the, it's heading west towards the uh, area where all the monsoonal thunderstorms are. And uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what the strategy is with this system right behind it. And if we go and take a look at the uh, northwest Atlantic water vapor loop, we can see that this system has moved west. This is moving in the same direction, but we have a very strong flow back to the northeast. And we also have a, uh, a transmitter generated high pressure uh, blockade right here, which is preventing any of this moisture uh, moving out of the uh, northwest and out of the Gulf of, Mex of, of, of uh, Alaska from merging with anything down here. So we have a, a man made uh, blockade here that is preventing any merging, like I say, from uh, what's coming down here. Nothing is, is getting over that uh, barrier to uh, merge with this. All right, and now if we go to the, uh, the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop, we can see that uh, we have a huge area of high pressure here. This is uh, blocking everything. These monsoonal thunderstorms, we can see that they're just running into this wall right, right there. Very clean line, and nothing is getting uh, past this line right here. Everything is evaporating. In fact, if we look at this in the uh, infrared loop, we can see the evaporation going on right here. Very effective. They're keeping all of that. They're preventing all that uh, monsoonal moisture from moving north. And uh, we can see that this system that was parked over Louisiana for two days is, is moving in this direction. So it's going to, you know, merge. It's going to move west and merge with uh, all this monsoonal thunderstorm moisture right, right here. And it has nowhere to go but do a U-turn and head right back to the north uh, east, which is what we were just looking at here on this map. So things, it, it'll move a little bit further and then do a U-turn and probably come back into the uh, <clears throat> northeast. Either that or, it's hard to say, this is going to run into a dead end here. It has nowhere to go. We've got high pressure all through here. <clears throat> this is where all the hurricanes are uh, born, right down in this area. These are very warm waters. I don't think they're going to allow uh, this to move out into the uh, uh, East Pacific Ocean. We'll just have to wait and see. Also, we have a upper level low pressure right over Hawaii right here. This has been uh, pretty well beat up by a transmitter. There's nothing uh, to look at really on this uh, in the infrared loop. Right there, that's sort of a dry upper level low, as they call it on TV. Dry low. All right, so this very strong high pressure. We had uh, it was 99 degrees today uh, in the foothills of Los Angeles. Currently, we have 83 degrees at uh, 9 p.m. 35% relative humidity. Dew point is 52 degrees. We have a barometric pressure of 29.94, and that's dropped slightly from yesterday and tomorrow it looks like we're going to have the same weather this high pressure is firmly installed in place and that is blocking everything here and uh, everything that's moving along here will not uh, move down on the Doppler radar map the IntelliCast map we can take a quick look at that there's just zero rain in the uh, southwest There's a little bit of rain in the on the Baja Peninsula right down here showing up. And a little bit of, if you zoom in on oh, Arizona, we can see that there's not much. But uh, where the rain is, is, right down here in southern Texas where that system has moved west, it was parked over. Louisiana that has moved, and uh, we can go back to the Atlantic map once again. 
this is this uh, pattern has been in place for several days actually and so that storm that was sitting over louisiana had really nowhere to go because of all the monsoonal moisture but with this thing here this changed all the rules or rather the game plan this changed the game plan this is an upper level low pressure system that is moving in the same direction an area that this uh, last storm was so we'll have to keep an eye and see what the what the plan is my guess again is that this will move a little bit further to the west and then it will do a u-turn and it'll just run it right back up to the uh, northeast and i think that's the only thing they can do all right let's look at some of the uh, maps the uh, pressure maps oh here's the sea level pressure we have high pressure installed here that's there every day pretty much all year long we have low pressure indicated over california nevada utah arizona the 500 millibar is quite different we have high pressure installed all through this entire area and the low indicated right there where the that uh, storm moved uh, towards the west it was parked over uh, Louisiana. Here is the uh, 300 millibar. We can see high pressure all through this area. And we have that upper level low over Hawaii right here. And we've got this low over Alaska delivering some rain up there. They're getting plenty of rain. That's good. Okay, here's the uh, 300 millibar for the entire country. And we can see that. This is indicated this uh, system that moved over this is that giant vortex that is spinning right towards uh, Louisiana and Texas right there keep an eye on that all right here's the uh, East Pacific water vapor loop and these are a couple of disturbances that were marked yesterday on the uh, National Hurricane Center map this one here is uh, being blown apart we can see the side blowing out of that one that's been hit with microwave. You can see the color change. I don't have that map pulled up right now, the uh, National Hurricane Center, but we'll keep an eye on this and uh, see what happens over the next couple of days. And we have this system. This is the uh, storm that was uh, over Louisiana right here. It's got some clockwise rotation on it. And like I say, this will probably move over a little bit more and it'll just do a U-turn. Uh, it has nowhere to go. It's uh, hit a dead end got high pressure all through here it's not going to move out into the Pacific we'll just let we'll, we'll wait and see what they do uh, they may let this run out into the Pacific I will just have to wait and see I don't think they will they'll just turn it right back towards the Northeast all right uh, that's it uh, we'll do another uh, update uh, tomorrow okay that's it